Next, I would like to introduce to you our special guests, the German United Nations Youth Delegates. They will hold a, a small speech upon their work and their motivation. Please devote your attention to Sabrina Reindel and Patrick Rode. Um, before I start speaking, I also would like to apologize for my voice. Like Johanna, I did uh, too much singing yesterday, so sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, honorable delegates, honorable organizers of Belgium 2012, dear ladies and gentlemen, dear guests, thank you for welcoming us here at your first Jubilee of Belgium 2012. It is our pleasure to speak to you today at the end of Belmian 2012 in Rostock. Patrick and I hope that you've enjoyed the last couple of days, that you had the chance for passionate discussions, and that all of you had lively exchange with each other about global politics in the context of the United Nations. First, let us introduce ourselves. We are Patrick Rode and Sabrina Reindl, the German youth delegates to the General Assembly in 2012. Since 1981, in course of the World Programme of Action for Youth to the year 2000 and beyond, all nations are requested to include youth representatives into their national delegation for the General Assembly. In Germany, the Youth Delegate Programme exists for eight years now. And each year, there are selected two young people to represent the youth living in Germany and to bring their opinions and demands into the negotiations of the GA in New York. Now, in 2012, it is our task to raise our voices for the youth living in Germany. Before we will get the honor of speaking as voice of the youth in Germany in New York, we are traveling throughout the country to meet as much young people as possible, to listen what they have to say, to get an insight in their ways of life, to introduce the United Nations to them, to establish a relationship between their lives and the United Nations. And finally, to discuss possible ways of solving problems in their environment. The this year topic of Belmune, sustainability and equity, a better future for all, is an issue that we get confronted with very often while talking to the youth. So far, we've met a huge range of young people in schools, at conferences, in summer camps, and at many more occasions. Everywhere, we found a huge, huge interest in global topics which concern all of us, like sustainability, the protection of our environment, or the common fight against the violation of human rights. And it was impressive how much young people do know, how severe is their request to participating in forming the envir environment they live in and in building their own future. If you only let them know that they have the right and even the duty to do so. We saw that you must not underestimate youth, and it is politics who can learn from the youth. The best example here for is you. You came here from 27 different countries to meet and discuss issues of international politics. You came here to compare different points of views, to get to know each other, and to widen your horizon. You also came here to show your interest in participating in those global matters that affect all of us and all our countries. Hereby, you show the importance of youth, youth to stand up and make clear the necessity of action, now and without compromises. Because it is our world and our future that is discussed in the United Nations and in the whole international political discourse. Today, Globalization and interdependencies make the world go faster. And we, as individuals and as citizens, have to take care of our orientation in these changing conditions. In a world where our behavior has an impact on almost everything which surrounds us, it's often hard to set the right priorities. 
but this challenge should not paralyze us. Instead, it should motivate us to find our way through this complex situation. In the past years, we witnessed several occasions of globalization, such as the global economic crisis, the Arab Spring, or even Fukushima. As we learned in the last 10 years, we can now state that countries do not have the power to solve the upcoming problems of globalization by themselves. They need partner, organized in a reliable and strong framework. A framework which has to be open for every country, the weak and the strong ones, to solve all problems which can emerge from globalization, and to use all the chances which globalization reveals. The United Nations could be such an organization. Actually, the United Nations can be such an organization, because it's our organization. It's the best United Nations we have. We have no other. So rather than run it down, rather than criticize it out of existence, let us support it, try to improve it, and make it more effective in protecting humanity. These days, we can witness that we all live in a period of change. But instead of being paralyzed, we should be tough on the upcoming issues and build a United Nation that is strong and reliable. Therefore, we have to touch sensitive issues, like the reform of the Security Council or the democratization of international organizations in general. It's up to all of us to realize these changes. And Sabrina and I hope that all of you will find their way to advocate for these goals when you're back home. Sabrina and I would like to thank you for your interest in the United Nations and for taking part at the Balmium 2012 here in Rostock. And we hope that it's not your last stop in getting involved in global issues. Sabrina and I hope that you are now more than eager to shape your world after this weekend. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>